I want to talk a little bit about, uh, about uh, simple pendulums. Um, you might have seen this uh, in clocks, um, etc. Uh, so you can uh, you can imagine that they have uh, a definite time period, right? So in this video, we we are going to calculate that. Um, and here the, the displacement from the uh, from the mean position is theta, uh, but we are assuming that theta is very very small. And you will see why, because um, this is kind of an angular SHM, not uh, on, not a linear SHM. So the equations kind of don't apply. But as long as theta is small, we can assume that it is linear. Okay. So I hope that you have studied a li little bit about torques, because I'm going to use that concept here. So there's a this is a mass m, and this uh, has a length l. Uh, this is pivoted here. This won't move. Um, and the string is massless only this part has mass so there's a constant force acting downwards which has a magnitude of mg okay so if this angle is theta then this angle is also theta right um, that is uh, I believe <clears throat> alternate interior angles uh, something okay so what is the what is the torque due to gravity here torque okay so we know that torque is r cross f which implies that this is equal to r f times the sine of the angle between uh, the force and the and the distance okay so in this case this is r that is r and this is the f so the angle between them is theta theta which we have here so the torque in this case is going to be r r is l right times f is mg times the sine of theta okay um we also know that torque equals i alpha where i is the moment of inertia and alpha is the angular acceleration okay so this implies that um, mgl times the sine of theta must be equal to i now i of this um, bob right here is ml square right ml m times l square and alpha is um, let's say d2 uh, theta by dt squared okay so we can cancel this this m here we can cancel one l this becomes just an l and for all practical purposes sine theta be approximately equal to theta as long as theta is small and that's why we used it uh, we assume that it is small so this becomes g times theta is equal to l d theta uh, d to theta over dt squared so from here we get that d to theta over dt squared is equal to g over l times theta and I'm going to put a negative sign because it is in, op op in the opposite direction okay so can we compare this with something um, sure we can compare this with uh, d to x by dt squared is equals to minus omega squared x just that in, instead of x we have a, a theta here so if you compare then omega will be equal to the square root of g over l g g over l so then what is the time period then the time period is 2 pi over omega so this is 2 pi 2 pi times the square root of L over G there you go we have just shown that the time period um, of a simple pendulum is given by this as long as uh, the string is massless and this uh, angle angular displacement is very very small Okay, so I hope you like it and I'll see you in the next video.